Close it. Boom. What up, James? Hey, Commander. What? No loco? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You okay? I don't know what I thought I'd feel coming back to Earth. I was ready to fight. Ready to die if I had to. But seeing everything like this... Don't you remember how many pull-ups I, I made? It ain't things possible. But this is only temporary. <laughs> That's motivational speech to James. But yeah. first we need I'd to win that. this thing. Stay focused. Don't let them take your will to fight. I know. I know. You're right. So, I guess this is it, no? One more push. One last fight. Not necessarily our last. It's been an honor serving with you, Shepard. You're a good man and a terrific soldier. Thanks. Whatever happens out there today, I know you'll make me proud. That means a lot to me, sir. Hey, good luck out there, loco. <laughs> nice. There you go. That's right. You call me by my correct name. Interesting that they chose London. Yeah. Oh, Ash. Shepard. I think it would be too stereotypical. Yeah, America. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Greenland. There's always hope. That's how we got this far. And you made it happen, Shepard. You're the reason we're here. I've had people like you picking me up and dusting me off when I stumbled. She lips get more luscious. <laughs> Did you put on <laughs> lipstick before this mission? Hero man. <laughs> it always comes down to this. Feels like a thousand years since we met on Eden Prime. So much has happened. It's hard to figure out how we got here. You're a survivor, Ash. Always were. I hope you're right. I'm right. I don't even want to imagine what Kate looked like right there. <laughs> Thanks, Commander. <laughs> Red lipstick. Okay. Maybe you gotta get out buff. Lots <laughs> <laughs> happens is like, that's so <laughs> scary. He's doing push-ups. Vega's doing pull-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Ash is doing squats. <laughs> Why is everybody working out? <laughs> Calm down. Why'd you guys bring... <laughs> Why'd you guys bring a bench press out here? <laughs> <laughs> they got kettlebells. Yeah. Somebody got working out. <laughs> oh yeah, Zaheed. Yeah. People, we're using trucks as decoys now. There's no way we can handle the damage being done. And since they're apparently trying to take us out, we might as well be might as well be of what use we can. Volunteers only coordinate with the evac services. Okay. Oh my gosh! All the people who evacuated to the Citadel. Oh. <laughs> Bad timing. Yes, Commander. Is there someone you'd like to reach? Oh shit. Jacob Taylor. I forgot so, about this, because they're all, okay, they're not all, like, here, they're all Shepard, around, Kanye. Hey, you? Jacob, holding up? <laughs> Kicking ass, more like, my kill count's through the roof. We'll meet and compare notches when this is over. <laughs> you got it. There's this, uh, great little bar in Rio we have to check out. I'm holding you to that. Give him hell, Jacob. Oh, yes, man, sir. dude. <laughs> Talk about the feels. I know. Yo, I just really drive it home. I know, right? Miranda lost. Certainly. Uh, I'll connect you now. What? Uh, okay. Hope you don't mind me crashing this little party of yours. Not at all. Feeling better? Much. I got a few sideways looks from Alliance Brass when I offered to help. They can't be choosy at this point. I'm glad you made it. Shepard. I, I wanted to say goodbye. Goodbye. If we both come back from this at all, everything will be different. Sure, everything will change. But on our terms, we've been running until now, Miranda. It has to stop. I understand. This isn't goodbye. You have to believe we're not done yet. There we go. Listening to you, I can believe it. <sighs> Good. And Miranda? Yes? Be careful. I promise. 
And you too, Shepard. It's kind of annoying that. What if that was your love interest? Oh, yeah. Oh. From two? <laughs> right? Ah. Yeah, well, yeah. Love it, Grunt. Those Rex. Rex. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. <laughs> Shepard. Yeah? Thanks for getting me out of that tank. Sure, Grunt. It's been an honor. Same here, Shepard. Okay. Grunt out. Is there someone else I can connect you to? Oh, yeah. Nice. Damn, you can do everybody. Certainly. I'll connect you now. <laughs> He's like, geez, how many two oh, people do you do? <laughs> Calm down. He's like, all right. I guess. Yeah, that was wrong. You doing okay, Zaid? Yeah, yeah. I hope you've got one hell of a speech to get everyone moving. Looks like we might need it. Never seen anything like this. We don't How old is now. he? It gets worse. 30. No <laughs> He's just been through shit. He's probably like 50 something. Still, no use talking about it. Ready to go when you are. Let's cut the bastards. Thank you, Zayid. Is there someone else I can you know, you these to? are people I, I feel comfortable sitting in the battle. <laughs> <I'm not gonna laughs> it's like, Third grunt. Yeah. Yep. You still met the ship. <laughs> Glad I can say the same about you, Cortez. Right? I've come too far to lose my pilot now. I apologize for that. Things got too hot. Thought maybe I could do another run and head back around. Well, not one of my finer moments. If I'd been flying my old trident, things might have been different. What matters is we took out that AA gun. Absolutely. And the Reapers are next. That's the idea. Let's go. It'll happen. I'm just glad I can play a part. And Commander, thanks for making me believe again. If you hadn't, it helps to have reason to live again. Stay sharp, Cortez. Yes, sir. We did. Ah, uh, yeah. Is someone else mm -hmm. I can connect you to? Me. I like how everybody else is. I can't. Where's you now. Rex? Oh, Rex is. Hey, Never mind. You ready down there? Depends on whether you got the crucible good to go. I'm surprised you can't hit a bar here. No idea what it'll do exactly, but it's gonna be big. Good luck, Shepard. If you live through it, drinks are on me. You mean when you steal them? <laughs> <laughs> Else I, I found these drinks, you? Shepard. You're like, did you? Did Jack, yes. uh -huh. Jack, Jack, and Samara. Certainly, I'll connect you now. Shepard. Oh no. Shepard, is that you? Jack, how are you guys? Good so far. We're a ways south of your position. We saved some resistance fighters with barrier support. Bring a bit more firepower your way. I'll see you on the other side. I won't let you down, Shepard. Go kick some ass. Wow. That was so nice. <laughs> Bro, coming from her. Samara. Is there something Samara? I'll connect you now. You want uh, uh, that dude I met from that one call? The honor is mine, my friend. You helped me a great deal in the monastery, Shepherd. Thank you for returning the favor. Only your actions will be remembered. Morden. May you choose them well. Thanks. Farewell. Is there someone else I can connect you to? I'm done. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. I think uh, Rex is actually around here, that's why. Because Liar is here, Garrus is here, Javik is here. Just have to find uh, Grenades! I want you to coordinate with the Alliance. Oh. Make sure we iron out these logistical problems. Let's get that scout around. Yes, sir. The Krogan don't want to share supplies, though. That's just Rex playing hard to get. <laughs> Tell him I've got a crate of Denorian beer I'd be happy to barter with. <laughs> and that ought to get his attention. Look at him throwing jokes even at this time of need. Shepard. So I guess this is just like old times? <laughs> huh. Huh. Uh. Hmm. Might be the last <laughs> chance we get to say that. <laughs> Think we're gonna lose? 
No, I think we're about to kick the Reapers back into whatever black hole they crawled out of. Yes! Then we're going to retire somewhere warm and tropical and live off the royalties from the vids. <laughs> what do you think this crew would do after all this is over? I don't know. Like, do you think any they'd of the, the Guardians of the Galaxy? <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they'd get, they would be in the next Avengers yes. movie. <laughs> do you think, uh... <laughs> like, you did the what? Yeah. <laughs> like, read the rap sheet? Shepard's like, Thanos. Yeah. <laughs> get, yeah. Yes. Thanos? Is he a problem? Do we need... Do you, <laughs> Just like... Welcome uh, to the bitch. <laughs> Shepard, they're like, we need help with Thanos. And Shepard goes, already with the gauntlet on? <laughs> um... Do you think... Okay, because there's no <laughs> way... <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. There's no way anybody in this galaxy is going to be fighting each other after the Reapers, right? Like, you know what I mean? Like, no street thugs to clean up. It's literally going to be cleaning up the galaxy. So, like, I, I think there's going to be... Okay, there's going to be a greater unification, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that unification... Still needs mortar. Huh? I think there's going to be, like... Because because of where it is, there are going to be some certain power. I, little okay. splinter cells in yeah. these little areas that, like... But instead of, like, it being, like, Cerberus, it's going to be, uh, like, human and Terrian, uh, like... Like, yeah, like yeah. drug lords get together. People can like, still prey on the weak. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. like, yeah, we're united. And the crime people are like, yeah, we're united. Yeah, yeah. So, like, <laughs> it's interspecies drug. You yeah, know what I mean? now you're like, god damn, we're gonna fight again. Interspecies like, drug <laughs> are so I wonder how much shore leave all of these characters would get after uh -huh. defeating the Reapers. Who we'll sent you out to another galaxy, Shepard? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> He's like, 300 years ago, we sent a group of people to Andromeda. We haven't heard back. <laughs> that would be a great ending to this. That would be fucking phenomenal. Me, there's an old saying here on Earth. May you be in heaven half an hour before the devil knows you're dead. Not sure if Torian heaven is the same as yours, but if this thing goes sideways and we both end up there, meet me at the bar. I love that. Yeah. There's no shepherd without Vicarian, so you better remember to duck. Oh. Sorry, Turians don't know how, but I'll improvise. <laughs> I love that he's literally been the there to every freaking time. Yes. Your old friend has an order for you. Go out there and give them hell. You were born to do this. Goodbye, Garrus. And if I'm up there in that bar and you're not, I'll be looking down. I'll always have your back. And I teleport next to the door. Fuck. Okay. That's Garrus, my boy. That That's Damn. my boy right there. Oh, Victus. Oh, Victus. I didn't realize you were here. I wanted to return the favor in person. Yes. Though I'm sorry to see your world. Oh, we're so close. Looks as bad as ours. I think about the Terry. Uh, mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> the fact that we're still here, mm -hmm. like Asari's worlds, yeah, but we got hit first, yeah, and we're still fighting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're just, I think, just by nature resilient species, yeah. Just like, we were like, they're literally throwing our bodies in a windshield, yeah. <laughs> throwing, yeah. <laughs> I didn't run into Liara or Javik. Hold on, um. I don't think I missed them. No, 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 no. I think it's it's after this. Okay, I think we're fine. I got a little nervous. I was like, hold on. Especially Liara. Or the court. Or freaking. Or Tally. Tally. Yeah, 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 Tally too. Okay, I'm not hitting anything. What is happening? I am kind of wondering how it would have been if you chose Tally. Like, yeah. what options are there? That's what's like interesting me the most about other playthroughs. It is just the well, conversations would have been yeah. different based on who you brought on every mission. Yep, yep, yep. That definitely. I think like like Liara meeting me in the bed, right? Mm -hmm. I think they would amongst all the relationships, it'll be the same dialogue. You know when they do that, they just have the different actors depending on like, oh yeah, if you chose Tally, T 
Hallie would have came to the room and delivered the exact same lines as Liara. Because that's oh, how. Oh, that's it. Oh yeah, yeah. Game, game, games. Right, don't... That's why, like, especially the yeah, heavy. No. Like, the writing has been good. Like we were talking about. Uh, was it? Oh my gosh, Omega. Like yeah, yeah, how? Yeah. Like their difference in personalities based mm-hmm. on what they're trying to do. Yeah. Even though they're so similar, yeah. their dialogue and how they went about doing things yeah. is so different. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah. Yeah. As for as for like the cutscene dialogues, if like I said, that one that's specifically the cutscene like Liara, those ones, that's game creators in every game do that. Like they have the different if you could have different love interests, they have those different actors deliver the exact same line because it's like story dialogue but it'd be cool at least if they had like little differences but like individual missions yeah dialogue would be different i'm not saying that for individual like the little banter and stuff like that Mm -hmm. but yeah like again if tally was my love interest she would have come to here to the bed and said the exact same things liara would have said how were the casualties it makes me wonder we're like they haven't brought uh, any more wounded that's something how are you holding up liara Cyberpunk 2027. This yeah. Is yeah. I wonder how far they're going to take so. Yeah. This is it. I don't know what to say. All those little blue children will be disappointed I didn't have a speech. <clears throat> we'll make up a good story for them. I do have one thing for you, Shepard. A gift. It'll only take a moment if you want it. Yeah. Of course I do. Close your eyes. That's different. What the f- <laughs> Sorry, son. This is totally unique. <laughs> <laughs> right? What the fuck is this? I think it's just a moment. Thank you for everything. I love you. Now, let's do what needs to be done. Let's kick some fucking ass, son. What did she just do? Just take you to an alternate dimension? <laughs> yeah, one of Asari's mind powers. Fly this big cow into the universe. <laughs> <laughs> did they make out at the conception of the Big Bang? Was that what? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's how, maybe that's how much she loves me. Wow. Like, that's the feeling. Oh, it's like the Big Bang. Wow, yeah. That's freaking A metaphor. deep. There's Jack. Oh, there's Rex. Rex is not a speech. One word delivered the killer blow. One word beat the monsters back to the event. And one word brought death to an enemy none dared fight. Shepard? Oh, Kroger. Kudos he to, to rally people. Was it this bad? He's like, I'm gonna be a dad. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Krogan speak to his men. In our cycle, the races never came together. There was no rallying cry. Because you didn't have Shepard. I envy you. Really? There's not much left out there. You know what? Last time, it was the proceeds by themselves fighting. Something my mm-hmm. people could never say. There will be a tomorrow. Only if we win today. No one else has ever made it this far. I wonder if he can mate with anybody. 
That's interesting. Technically, I yeah. guess an Asari. Asari can mate with her, but they come out Asari. Yeah. So if he got together with an Asari, he's like, my race, what the fuck is that? <laughs> he just pops out another Asari. They're like, yeah, they always come out Asari. He's like, damn it. <laughs> you know what I would actually like from Mass Effect Andromeda if you don't, wait, I don't know if that's, a, if you didn't have to be human. Because uh, that's the one thing that not bugs me, but he says nobody brought our races together. These games do kind of make it look like humans are the best at everything. Like, he's a human brought the races together. Uh -huh. What if you could have been a Turian that brought the races together? I see what you mean. But yeah, at the same yeah. time, I do feel like all the other races are suited. Like, the Asari naturally with biotic powers. Correct. The implants. Yeah. The Turians are just naturally stronger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Krogan. better at military <laughs> than we are, just period. Yeah, I guess the humans are the underdog. Yeah. Yeah. That's why... Came a long way yeah. to Further than anyone else here, and I look forward to fulfilling my mission. But you are now the avatar of this cycle, the exemplar of victory. This motherfucker touches stuff and knows what it is. For Prothea, but for all life, every soul that has ever existed is watching this moment. Wow. Well, thanks, no thanks, Javik. That way. Do not waver. Victory is never won without difficult choices. Do you think he touches the ground and goes, Do you want to know how many people had sex in this room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you mean the one dude? Oh, oh my gosh. I know. I've had to make a lot of those. There may be more. But I know you will see this through for all of us, no matter the cost. Well, don't be throwing yeah, LTs at me. Right? What will you Damn. do afterwards? Since my birth, life's only pursuit has been war. I look forward to seeing what peace looks like. I'd like to know how long he lives galaxy. as well. Right? Perhaps I will write a book with the Asar... with Dr. Tessoni. She suggests... journeys with the Prothean. You do that? I will need a job. <laughs> there will be no Reapers left to kill. Thank you, Commander, for letting the last voice of the Prothean speak. Has been a privilege. Yes, yeah, son. You're too rep. Hey, Rex. How Shepard, you doing? You did it. Oh, he's the no only one. No matter what else happens today, you did what no one else could. You united a galaxy. That's a victory right there. And don't worry. I know why you're going to win. Because you brought the Krogan. Owen, oh, Makara sent her regards. She's already pregnant. There are benefits to being a clan leader. Yeah. Well, she keeps insisting we name the first one Morden. <laughs> anyway, let's get to it. I love you, Rex. <laughs> There's benefits to being a clan leader. <laughs> Do they not all look like frogs <laughs> from this yeah. eye? <laughs> yeah. They Why do they look like do. toads? Even their legs. <laughs> like they're going to leap. All that Turian food gave me the runs. Oh. Meant to tell you, Shepard. Earth reminds me of home. Guess you'll be needing a new planet too. That's okay. Duchanka's got room to spare. And a guard dog named Kalros. We're ready, Shepard. Say the word. Okay. <laughs> I just realized. You know what? The ground troops ain't that bad. We got Krogan ground troops. <laughs> okay. <What about> this, <laughs> we could circle around and flood the Can we just put Krogan inside the Reapers? <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, ah, oh, just reach. <laughs> 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 Just hitting electronics. Yes. <laughs> oh, <easy. laughs> Just start breaking stuff. <laughs> I want to break shit. Isn't that a song? Break is shit. Big or biscuit? small? It is important. Ooh. Its relevance would be diminished at any other time. Ask away. In this battle, the Reapers have no reason not to use their full capabilities to destroy us. Their forces are in entrenched positions. <laughs> they have superior firepower and outnumber our forces. My question is, what makes you think we can reach the conduit at all? I don't fail twice. <laughs> the Reapers have the Citadel. They think they've won, and that's the best time to hit them. If they have spies or other intelligence, we could lose the element of surprise. In such a case, we will likely lose. Are you afraid? <clears throat> Our probability for success is greater than any other plan presented to date. That's not what I asked. Mm. Are you afraid? 
I do not understand the purpose of the question. <laughs> the purpose of the no question? <laughs> you understand what we have to do or you don't. <laughs> I am clear on what we must accomplish, Shepard. The Reapers have destroyed thousands of civilizations. But they have never destroyed ours. Nor will they. Oh! Yo! Yo! Yo, you hear her? <gasps> oh, shit, I had a thought. I need to, but she threw me out. Um. Oh, they're here to harvest organics. Actually, I want to know what would happen to her if she just didn't do anything. Like, right. if she just would they ignore her? Uh, well, no, nah, they wouldn't ignore her because it would her existence would affect the uh, yeah. their simulation to recycle. Yeah, if he was alive while this primitive human yeah. life force. She's intelligent. Yeah, she could literally bring up the humans. Yeah, that's and, true. And train them. So it's like hey. by the time they do get here, yeah. they're like we're just like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just one big cannon. Hello. Hi guys, we waited for you like a billion years. <laughs> Time to move up. Okay. There is something I want you to know. <laughs> She's cute. The elusive man ordered my creation years ago. Jeff was the one who allowed me to think for myself. But only now do I feel alive. That is your influence. Thanks, Edie. Tell me. Dang, I want to get. Oh. I feel like a okay? man planned I all I'd this. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. Shepherd, I backed you when I was just a kid on our pilgrimage. I backed you when the Normandy was a Cerberus ship. What kind of friend would I be if I didn't back you now? And you haven't answered my question. Are you okay? Absolutely. You remember how you felt when you landed on Rannoch? Now imagine it's not a story passed down by your people. Imagine you were there just a few months ago. There's your answer. And now you're seeing it. Oh like no, that's this. not. That can't be a few months have passed. We need to put it right. We will. Whatever happens, I'm proud to have served with you, Captain. <laughs> it's been an honor, Tally Zoravas Normandy. The Admirals once hung that ship name on me like a badge of shame. And then the Normandy helped us reclaim our homeworld. <laughs> it's time I returned the favor. Oh, boom. I think I talked to everybody. All right. Commander, Admiral, just going over the sit rep. How's it look? Barely 50% of Hammer has reported in. Can we count on more making it? <clears throat> There's some stragglers still en route. But the bulk of Hammer that's still intact has arrived. We're as ready as we're likely to get. Almost ready. Every minute wasted here, the Reapers gather strength. Exactly my thoughts. Battalion leaders, report to HQ. We fought hard to get here. But now the toughest part of our mission begins. We've got to drive right through the heart of Reaper-controlled territory, break past their defenses, and get to that beam. What kind of defenses? The entire area is crawling with Reaper forces. But our biggest concern is the destroyer, protecting the beam itself. Can we bring in air support to deal with it? Negative. Some kind of interference. We'll have to take it out from the ground. Now they've cut a swath of no man's land through the city. We'll have to cross that first. There'll be some limited shelter on the other side, but expect heavy ground resistance. We need to get our tanks to here, if we get close enough. We've got a shot at taking that thing out. How much of a shot? They know we're coming. This will be a one-way trip for many of us. But there can be no retreat. No stepping back. We move forward at all costs, understood? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Johnson, Coates, you two will coordinate the artillery units. <laughs> Shepard, <laughs> I'm sending you right up the gut where the resistance is heaviest. <laughs> Support the tanks the best you can, but stay alive. Mm -hmm. I need you for the final push to the beam. I'll give We're you a minute with your squad. On the floor. Pick your team well. I know who I'm rolling with, son. I've been rolling with the 100%. I should get an, an achievement for picking the same two people for every mission. Yes, definitely. 
<laughs> it should be called God damn you're loyal <laughs> <laughs> yeah holy crap dude this war has brought us pain and suffering and loss but it's also brought us together as soulgers allies friends oh greatness I know right <laughs> This bond that ties us together is something the Reapers will never understand. It's more powerful than any weapon. Stronger than any ship. It can't be taken or destroyed. The next few hours will decide the fate of everyone in the galaxy. Every mother, every son. Every unborn child. They're trusting you, depending on you to win them their future. A future free from the threat of the Reapers. But take heart. Look around you. You're not in this fight alone. We face our enemy together, and together we will defeat them. Our playroom, the room is empty. And he just goes. <laughs> <sighs> Actually, that was all in a mirror. Yeah. He goes out, sees everybody. He's like, You and me, we got to I am here. <laughs> his, his voice cracked Ooh. and everything. Victory! Uh, hey, uh, Shepard? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, you guys got some Skittles? <laughs> I was saying the same thing. You guys got some Skittles. <laughs> it's either an advertisement for Skittles, yeah. like, here, Shepard, you need some Skittles. He got Brits and he's like, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> it looks better, his arm changes. <laughs> yeah, it's all polished. Or it's a Snickers commercial. Yeah. Uh, Shepard, you're not the same. He's like, Shh. All right, let's take out the reapers. <laughs> he just goes, poisons finger, takes out the reapers. <laughs> Dude, one of my favorite unlockables for beating Dead Space Two on Impossible uh -huh. is you get a giant foam finger. Oh, and he actually goes like this. They recorded the actual actor going, bang, 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 pew, 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 and it just it one hits everything. It, it oh you know it's an invisible force. That just explodes necromorphs. It's the Holy crap. it's we actually well worth beating that game on impossible. Okay. Two is yeah. Two is harder on impossible. Okay. Because it has the um. Oh, uh, it has more. like the Resident Evil restrictions on it, where like you only get three saves or something. I don't think there's a time limit, but I think you only get three saves. I did technically put the difficult. The difficulty is at normal, so okay. I gotta be a little careful. They're still not terribly hard, but they do uh, some damage. <laughs> Boom. Go through November, taking a right at right flank. <laughs> <laughs> okay, James Bond. <laughs> he starts, <laughs> so he starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> I think you put my voice down. <laughs> oh, is the little Scottish man gonna cry? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, right, Where well, the down. fucking Reaper is gonna take you home? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm sorry. Is your homeland being taken? Are you gonna grow, grow some potatoes? <laughs> Got home like a wee baby. <laughs> I didn't know the rapers are gonna make you a bitch. <laughs> oh my God. No way. <laughs> Stop oh. making fun of my accent. Stop making fun of my accent. <laughs> It's a big ass fucking harvester. Oh shit. Oh my gosh, dude. Mass Effect Bridge. <laughs> <That's> yeah. <what> <laughs> <happened>. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I hit him on the head. Oh no, you missed it. His health was low enough. Uh, I hit him on the head with a grenade like this. He went. <laughs> okay, brute. Okay. Oh, that's not brute. That's just a brute. Oh, <laughs> oh sh fucking banshees, man. No. No, you you cut it out. Dude, that'll take forever. Uh, I guess you're pretty oh. good, though. <laughs> I bruised the entire Mass oh Effect Oh my series. god. We got enough footage. <laughs> that's right. Fuck me. <laughs> that's the only, that's what we do when we play it on PC. We, we, both, we yeah. treat it as another Let's Play. All right, guys, play through Mass Effect series again. Do you guys like not, be? <laughs> you guys not play any other games on this channel? No, it's a dedicated Mass Effect. <laughs> it's not called Valorant Game anymore. It's called Valorant Mass. The Mass Mass Effect. Oh, hey. The Mass Effect channel. All 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 the info and updates you need about Mass Effect. There's no new one coming out. All right, let's play through it again. <laughs> Woo. We're gonna play through this till it, it's it's our form of um, like protest. We're gonna play through Mass Effect till they make another one. <laughs> it's like that's not how this works. We're gonna show how popular it still is. <laughs> I know. He got thrown on. He got thrown on his face. That poor man. Oh, Liara, just taking it. Liara, please, you gotta get out of the way of that brute. You asked me if I want to shoot something, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you, you still be a cinematographer. <laughs> she just your head in the controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let you get the shot. This is what I want. <laughs> Actually, what? that could work. Getting slaughtered out here, Commander. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just <quit>. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know. Oh. Oh damn! They took over our fucking turrets. Hold on, that's wow. just rude. Fucking asshole. Punk bitch. Oh shit. Look at that. That took a minute. I did. <laughs> what? What are their legs? She's not gonna save her myself. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like I'm so relaxed right now. <laughs> I'm on a beach. Oh wait, I did the- oh wait, hold on, what's the fuck the med kit? Oh, this one. <laughs> I activated my adrenaline, I was like, why didn't my med kit activate? Larry, could you not stand in place of my gunfire? Oh, Much appreciated. Oh, oh, Arya, I found a couch. Did we ever find her couch? No. Well, where the freak is Yeah, that's it? what I mean. Like, I mean, I wasn't actively really, really look, trying to, you know, we some time looking around. <laughs> oh, mom and dad. Okay. You're probably dead. Thanks. Sorry. Oh. Oh. I mean, that's just a skeleton. That <laughs> it looks so a bomb went off that just fried all the skin and I, meat. Yeah, I was thinking, like, that gave me some fallout vibes because when you're walking around, yes. you'll see, see you know, like, people in the bed and yep. just like. The, from the bombs dropping, just yeah. the flash melting. Yeah, I did it! Yeah. The PK nice. roll. See that? Yeah. <laughs> Got this first of all, we have to. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Get a roll on my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but having the main characters as douches on a bridge series is just so always the best. The best. I, uh, SAO, a bridge. Oh, yeah, Have really? you seen that? Uh oh. Okay. I haven't watched any bridge series since DBZ, and even then, I haven't like kept up to date. Okay. I don't know where they're at. He just goes. And unfortunately, Yu Gi Oh! Like, uh -huh. after. A little creep. Dude, that, that literally made me go. Hey, dude, that was a good day, uh, YouTube. Uh-huh. Man. He had a little bit more going against him, too, because Konami really, like, didn't like him doing that. They did not like Yu-Gi-Oh no. being touched, whereas it seems like Yo. DBZ creators didn't mind as much. Like, he got so much ish, but to be honest, Luke Rebo is the main reason why I got back into Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, <laughs> straight That's up. That's awesome. I feel like, in a way, he revived the brand. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, while he's when he started, they weren't making 
like he start they like uh I think RV no 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 that RV was it called GX was out yeah when he started but they weren't making anything else for mm. the US oh okay. I don't remember or like we're watching reruns of GX because they, you know, they oh, go so okay. far and it'll stop and it'll go back right. over. Yep. And then again, it didn't even get the fourth season. Yeah. In America. And then, uh, what is it called? So, when Synchros, I forgot what that called. 5Ds. 5Ds. Yeah, that wasn't freaking out. Mm-hmm. But apparently, like, they were trying to rush through GX for yeah. us because they wanted a 5Ds. They wanted one. to work on 5Ds. Yep. But honestly, I feel like I personally feel like this might not be fact that the like the fan base kind of revitalized. We start watching the old stuff again, and they're like, "Yo, I know we're sit- putting reruns in the U.S. for GX, but mm-hmm. look at the people are watching our stuff. We yeah. should make it and push it over to the U.S." Mm. And then that's when like they stop airing Five Ds. I mean, yeah. they stop airing GX, and then uh, Five Ds came around. Oh, play. okay. I, I can was, see that. I was playing Yu Gi Oh. Well, and now, again, unfortunately, it sucks to say that people our age were also having kids, mm-hmm. and they were showing their kids the firsts of everything. Like, why, you know, I'm not going to be having my child watch the current Pokemon season. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put pop in the fucking Indigo League DVD and be like, you're starting from square one. Yeah. You got 30 years to catch up on now, son. I'm not going to lie. I like, when you see people our age where parents were like that, yeah. and they're like, yeah, I watched like the old stuff like like we talk about yeah like, hear people my age like yeah i watch uh, all the star wars with my yeah uh, like with my granddad or whatever yep and uh i can also uh somebody on my stream mm-hmm. he uh mm-hmm. uh he plays like he started gaming because of his granddad he oh, said yeah he's played through every resident evil game oh, with nice. his granddad he said till this day me and him play resident evil i was just like that's awesome Wow. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, I don't think a uh, uh, little Karibo continued. He, I think didn't he start to dub dub GX? But I don't think he continued. Uh uh-uh. uh. Did he? Did he part up with the DBZ people? Oh, I would, that I don't. I would know. hope he worked for them. Like or right. Something. But yeah, what's uh, Taki? Uh, you know, Nakia Toriyami or whatever. Um, Funimation, Akira Toriyami and stuff like that. I think. They didn't like him making it at first, and then they seen they were kind of cool with it. Like, oh, okay, it's getting a lot of traction. People are really wanting it. Like, let's. He's been paying us a lot. You know, it's at the beginning of everything. Everything. This is all unbo- owned by Funimation. Please yeah. just support the first release. It probably increased the sales. That's that's another yeah. thing. They were like, look. And they had a card. They was like, they had card games, so actual oh, yeah. physical stuff. So mm-hmm. they probably noticed like, holy crap, people are buying our cards more. Yeah. <laughs> like, Cause that's the biggest thing. Like, uh, the problem is there's no. Um, oh, jeez. All right. There is no statistical data to prove whether pirated stuff actually causes sales problems. So any song uploaded on YouTube, there is no statistical data to say that hurt the artist or helped the artist. Um, but I can safely say that most of the stuff I have heard that somebody stole, put on the internet. I, I wouldn't have known it freaking existed if it wasn't exactly. for like I bought stuff like YouTube. and personally yeah. support now the artist. Mm-hmm. And it's like, you know what? What I noticed, like pirate stuff, it's like you get paid. It's like the universe works in a phenomenal way. Because like, say somebody like pirated your music. Mm-hmm. At some point or another, they pirated their music because it was good. They liked it. <laughs> Even if they didn't pay for yeah. it, that eventually you got their paid. You got paid because that person is going to tell yes. other people about that. That song is going to get shared via them. Yep. And you get paid by that mm-hmm. because one, you get more exposure, yeah. which makes your overall brand in the song and everything that you do therefore after more valuable. And you might get spread to the person who does buy it. Correct. That person might not have bought it, but mm-hmm. it doesn't mean their friends are all like them. Yeah. They don't really care. Trying to stop this war, son. Because it, it does feel good to be like to actually buy something. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, that's a fucking Reaper. How's that space battle going up out in the atmosphere? I wouldn't mind 
a a Mass Effect sequel to this that is like a what maybe like what if Reapers win kind mm -hmm. of situation where it's all this. It's what can, how can you survive? How can you have Fallout for with with Reapers, with Reapers basically. Oh my helping, gosh. Helping towns. You know it would be freaking awesome. Mm. Uh, Mass Effect where, like, the ending was. So, we lost the war. Yeah. But, like, Shepard and your main crew survived. <laughs> and yeah. you guys escaped to another galaxy mm -hmm. to recruit help from an another Ooh, galaxy. That would be interesting. To fight the to Reapers in your... galaxy back. And... Think about because it was hard convincing our galaxy. Think how hard it would be convincing another yeah. galaxy of a threat. Boy, and then, he'd have a silver tongue. Dude, it's it on top of that, like, wait, there's life in your galaxy? How the frick did you get here? Right, like, right. You've never seen anything like yeah. that. And then what exists in that galaxy? Do they have their <laughs> own like Reaper-esque yep. threat? You know what I mean? Yep. The first game would be Aftermath. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the first game would be the aftermath, so it's you helping caravans, helping settlements, and stuff like that. Like, but in this kind of situation, and then that's the first game. At the end of the first game, you some alien spaceship is detected and enters your system. And it's like, what the fuck is that? And they land and they see what's going on, or you. What, well, if no, you wouldn't want what if the game they did more of a generational thing? Like this, oh, yeah, like yeah. at the end of this, you have to figure yeah. out how to leave Shepard and the R's baby. Yeah, like or like what, you know how she did like the Legend of Shepard, like that thing. Yeah, what if like Mass Effect Four was trying to figure out? Okay, if we lost this, how does the neck you try you have to yeah. plant the seeds for the next cycle to survive? Yep, yep. And it's all underground stuff, like kind of Metro. The Metro series is a good, a post-apocalyptic situation. Uh -huh. Mass Effect. And then like Mass Effect Five is like, like we figured a out billion technology. years later. Oh, I was gonna say it's still like, um, oh, maybe you took down a Reaper, found an integrated tech, like guys, we can travel to a new galaxy. Mm -hmm. Because we took down something, we found some information. We figured out how the mass relays work. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We yeah. actually know how to work. We Wait. don't just use them because. Mm -hmm. Well, and see, that's another thing. The super there was a super mass relay, which is what sends them, I believe, to mass the Andromeda galaxy. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Is it the Omega Five? Was like what that? Oh yeah, the, uh, yeah. It took them to the Omega Five. Um, yeah. Omega Five mass relay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like that with the Andromeda galaxy. There are things shooting me, and I can't reload. All right, all right, damn. Hold on, are they behind me? Oh. <clears throat> Shit, I don't think he died yet. Boom. I need a soundtrack playing. Come on. Yeah. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Defend. Oh, okay. I can do that. Huh. Commander, we tried to hold them off, but they destroyed our trucks. Overwhelmed our position. Your left flank is gone. They're headed your way. Sorry, no, that's not. That's not good. Still so pos positive. Hold in there, soldier. <laughs> good. Oh, I see her all the way over there. <laughs> what? The freaking. Oh bitch. no, Banshee. Yeah. So I'm not doing this on insanity anymore. Okay, hey, Reaper, you calm down, son. Oh, Daryl just gets sucked into her singularity. It's great. Good job, honey. I'm gonna need you to calm down. She's like, she's like, he calls no one honey bugbear. <laughs> I could really use Arya right now. Okay. Yeah. Defended by this phone booth. Liara, please. Oh, she's hiding. Never mind. I don't like the sound of that Reaper. Yeah. Oh my god, there's two of them! <laughs> I love when enemies just get hit in the face and just, just yeah. whip backwards. Oh my god. Mmm! <clears throat> Nope. Get away from Alara. Like this. No, I'm not using my. 
I'm not using my dope power adrenaline. Golly, can y'all just leave me alone? Jeez. Oh, this guy. Hey! Welcome to jail! Clear? Garrus. Garrus, please. I can't. I can't move. Oh. Commander, I have reprogrammed targeting. Missiles are ready for launch. Got Do it! Back to the truck, people. Missile guidance in hand. Firing. So close! Oh. That shit didn't come close, son. What happened? Reaper is still too close to the beam. We're down to two missiles. And we haven't even made a dent. You will need to allow the Reaper to move out of the beam's influence. And closer to us. Commander, hammer's being overrun at every turn. Reaper ground forces are converging on your location. He's like, hey, Fire Reaper. Quickly, our show me titty. <laughs> She's like a shepherd. Show me titty. The reaper will come. <laughs> that would be so upset if that would work. He's like, Bleh. oh yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, you brute. He was like, he's like, hold on, shepherd. I know. Every el every other reaper also saw the titty. Like, oh shit, they are showing titties. They're like, damn, they did get bigger since Mass Effect 1 and 2. <laughs> Garrus, go to the rhythm! Oh, <laughs> Lee! He's just like, her struggles is giving her strength. <laughs> Turn him! Oh, what the fuck is that? I think you should check the short shells for all Oh! Don't tell. Okay. I'm cool with that. Hey, Garrus, Garrus, please get up. <laughs> you don't find that, you don't find that in your library on your library shelves every day. Anything else you guys got? <laughs> Is there another library? What's over here? Probably should use it on the harbor fair. What was that? The meta gel station. Rocket shell. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Look at I got a clear shot of his ass. What you going to son? Trapped behind a table. Oh, there's brutes. Hello. Oh my god. Who's that? Huh? Grenade. Oh, nice. There we go. Sup? Oh, he's he is getting going. He looks real. Ma oh. No banshees. Oh, oh, you're a crazy bitch. Oh my god. I should have saved Oh, fudge. There's two of them. Got some horse butt. Oh, now the music. Can you hear the music? Just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> da, 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 Mass Effect. <laughs> please stop shooting waifu. Hey, 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 that's just root. Oh, he didn't reload. He didn't reload. He didn't reload. He didn't reload. I'm trapped behind here, and this is not good. Nope! Liara! Take this asshole out, because I don't trust him. Oh, 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 he's rushing! Okay! 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 Hey! Chance! Please don't take cover, Shepard. I actually need you to not be behind cover right now. Okay, even on normal difficulty, it kind of, it kind of threw some, kind of threw some shit at me. Right. Oh God, please! I need you to, I need you to act right. Jesus. Oh yeah, defend. Oh my God, my people are getting swarmed. Guys, can you please, can you? Please, please get over here. Oh, they're both dead. Okay. Hiding behind this table. Yeah, those, those, they gotta be taken care of. There. Okay, there we go. Ooh. Oh. 
Okay, this is intense. This right. is real intense. Uh, Shepard, I'm just gonna need you to simply jump over that, that waist high cover. You got this. Uh. Targeting is online. Reapers within range. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Sound like a like it's just a, it's just suppressed like, pistol. Die, you peasant. <laughs> she was John Wick. He's like, can you tell Trevor? Yeah. I'm gonna press those buttons. I'm gonna press that launch button. There you go. Oh, don't you try to close. He's like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hit him with everything you've got. Whoop his ass. Yeah. Ooh. That's the only problem, though. Look how hard it was to take down one of them. Nice work, Edie. This is the last run. We're on our way to your location. Roger that. Almost. Shepard. Oh, okay, we did that. Over here. Thank God you made it. It didn't look good. <laughs> he cares. It gets worse. Of course it does. Hackett just reported in. Several sovereign class reapers, including Harbinger, mm. have broken off from the battle. Oh, fuck, he's still around. They're headed here. Oh, crap. Yeah, Harbinger, we didn't actually defeat him. It's an opportunity for Hackett to get the crucible in place. But we have to get a team on board the Citadel to open those arms now. <clears throat> we still don't even know what we'll find when we get to the Citadel. Now that's our job. Find out what we're up against. That's All insane. Right. <laughs> Up, I really hope that, that all the refugees did not get turned. Oh. <laughs> this house way, it, it was real crowded on the system. <laughs> right? I really hope the C-Sect has held up something. Because <laughs> it is a, it's, it is a freaking huge security force. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, that thing's dope loading screen. Oh, that's the crucible. Man, we built that, by the way, oh, in a matter of a few minutes. Right. Holy crap, that's huge! The crucible is on the move. I repeat, the crucible is on the move. Protect it at all costs, everyone. This is it. I know. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> that would give me hopes. Like we built that. Okay. I know, right? You guys aren't that bad. <laughs> it's like seriously. You, you see what we're working with? Yeah. I, I don't even know what it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even the reapers are like, true. <laughs> like we're wrecking them with it. What the <laughs> fuck is that? It's still pretty impressive. Oh, they're fucking beelining it for. <clears throat> They're like, oh, those humans down there are actually doing some shit. Just like, how the fuck humans doing <laughs> all this? We're so tiny. Yeah. We're like ants, that's the problem. <laughs> <Get> <laughs> <him>. <laughs> like, they just don't see what we're doing. He just did. <laughs> he said, A4. He said, it looks like he's moving back and forth. Let's just stop to go losing with his feet. <laughs> we're just like, <laughs> <laughs> moonwalking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How is he doing that? That's gonna be a funny part about doing the first series, that, like voicing the Reapers. It's like, why can't we hit them? <laughs> Start just blasting Mikey. Is he indoctrinating the Husk? Do they have that ability? <laughs> no, it's <going. laughs> He's like, <laughs> I think they found two technologies, sir. <laughs> he keeps saying, sir, he keeps saying, hey. <laughs> It's like the sound wave. It's a form of communication we haven't. This is actually a pretty dope part. It's just like a, it's just a one last fucking sprint to get to this beam. Like, there's no fighting. It's just get to beam. Oh, no. Oh, I thought the vehicles were outlawed in the first game. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we stopped using them. <laughs> <laughs> they went down in a matter of seconds. 
by a basic turret, and these are Reapers. That is freaking epic. I need to stay away from... <laughs> it's just like, I'm too cool to die here. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm not gonna lie. Shit. Like, building confidence? I think that's another thing about Shepard. Just like, mm -hmm. He's like, I can not die here. No. <laughs> I'm gonna do way too much to die yep. here. See? Ooh. Normal person would have died. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Normal person been smashed. I feel like a Liara could have went. <laughs> but I guess they have to assume you have another squad mate. Oh, yeah. Garrus, you good? <laughs> He's like, you're good. Give her one. <laughs> Waifu! You might be pregnant. We need to keep you. Got blood all over. I need an evac. Right now. And you know, we see so freaking fast, it's ridiculous. Oh, right. <clears throat> Damn, why couldn't they just flown us in? Oh, wow. oh it looked like he, was lo he lost the arm. I know, right? Here. Sorry. I'm all right, oh, crap, dude. You with me, Liara? You're not leaving me behind. No matter what happens. You can't die. Right? Look at that, his teammates watching Shepard go. To f the last fucking fight. <clears throat> That's gotta suck right there. Like, they've been with us the whole time. Yeah. It's just teammates in general, and now you're like, you can only watch Shepard. And hope. <clears throat> Come on, Shepard. Look at him, watch it. He's like, okay, they're safe. Yep. I think that's a good thing because he, he's like, I need to be focused. If mm -hmm. I'm worried about them, yeah. The pair, the renegade option was you'll slow me down. Uh oh. Ooh. This is really fun. This is really fucking cool. Yeah, nobody. Yeah,
open. All fleets converge on the Crucible, protected at all costs. Yeah, about all those refugees you were talking about. Also, <clears throat> on my, my new game playthrough, I guess I either never found it or didn't choose it here. Anderson. Notice my scars. You up here too? And you can't see it in this angle. Follow you up, but we didn't come out the same place. No, at least I don't think we did. What's your surroundings? Why's my face running good? Mm. So in my new game plus I came across heal scars I was like I okay. thought I healed those from two right yeah so remember in two if you went paragon you started glowing blue in the face uh -huh. um, if you were re renegade you had red so like if you see like he's got renegade creeping through in his bottom left cheek yeah yeah I healed those in the second one that shouldn't even exist but then it gave me an option to heal it on my new game plus wow. so I don't know if that has an effect um, on the end but yeah I just something I noticed I was like why the fuck am, is my face renegade? Because I'm the farthest from it. I feel like death. <clears throat> but I'm moving. It's dark. There's human remains scattered. Sounds familiar. I'm in a dark hallway. Reminds me of your description of the collector base. Uh, makes sense. You think they're making a reaper in here? Oh. Sure. They round them up on Earth, then send the people up here to be processed. God damn abomination. Now this is fucking dead space. The sooner we blow these bastards back to hell, the better. The troops don't go on forever. But where the hell are we? Yeah. Doesn't look like any part of the Citadel I've been to. One of the walls here just realigned itself. The place is shifting, changing. What the heck? The There's a chasm here. Mm -hmm. And more hallways like the one I was in. I think I'm near an exit. I like how <clears throat> they put me in my N7 armor. Mm -hmm. So like canonically, he's in his N7 armor. So like in the new game plus, I'm I'm actually and I, since it's on narrative difficulty, I switched to it since I don't need any like power upgrades. Control is the means to survival. Control of the Reapers 
and of you, if necessary. I don't think so, Admiral. So, I got a Paragon over here, a Renegade, a Don't Do This, a Control's Pointless. Mm -hmm. I'm actually curious to see, as far as I know, for some reason, I told this to Marcus beforehand. There's three dialogue options I'm going to get here, and for some reason, I don't have the last Paragon, and I don't know why. Mm. Well, we're about to find out. It's a lot different than controlling a Reaper. Have a little faith. When humanity discovered the mass relays, when we learned there was more to the galaxy than we imagined, there were some who thought the relays should be destroyed. They were scared of what we'd find, terrified of what we might let in. But look at what humanity has achieved. Since that discovery, we've advanced more than the past 10,000 years combined. And the Reapers will do the same for us again, a thousandfold. But... Only if we can harness their ability to control. Bullshit. We destroy them, or they destroy us. And waste this opportunity? Never. You're playing with things you don't understand. With power you shouldn't be able to use. I... don't believe that. If we can control it, why shouldn't it be ours? Because... we're not ready. No. This is the way humanity must evolve. There's always another way. I've dedicated my life to understanding the Reapers, and I know with certainty the Crucible will allow me to control them. <laughs> and then what? Look at the power they need. Look at what they can do. I see what they did to you. I took what I wanted from them, made it my own. This isn't about me or you. It's about things so much bigger than all of us. He's wrong. Don't listen to him. And who will you listen to, Shepard? An old soldier stuck in his ways, only able to see the world down the barrel of a gun? And what if he's wrong? What if controlling the Reapers is the answer? I did get it. Okay. If we destroy the Reapers, this ends today. But if you can't control them... But I can! Are you willing to bet humanity's existence on it? I... know it will work. You can't, can you? They won't let you do it. No! I'm in control! No one is telling me what to do! Listen to yourself! You're... indoctrinated. No! No! The two of you so self-righteous. Do you think power like this comes easy? There are sacrifices. You've sacrificed too much. Shepard, I... I only wanted to protect humanity. The Crucibles can control them. I know it can. I just... <laughs> it's not too late. Is that only two Let us go. Control? We'll do the rest. I... Uh, I can't do that, Commander. Of course you can't. They own you now. <laughs> you... You'd undo everything I've accomplished. I won't... Oh, you. shit. No, that's the third. Yeah. But you already have, and then you failed to hear any. I don't know why I don't have those options. Mm. So, online, some people were saying... Every encounter from the elusive man, you have to choose. Make sure you consistently choose one. Every time we've met him, I've chosen Paragon. Mm. And some people were saying New Game Plus. You can only get it New Game Plus. Mm. And other people were like, No, I beat it. I did it the first time. So I have no idea. Basically, if you can renegade a Paragon, you convince him to kill himself. He realizes, Oh, I fucked up. I'll kill myself. Mm. You're not 
protect yourself anymore. Hmm. They've taken you. But since I can't convince him to do it, you're the one who failed. I have to. So if you don't do that, he he just shoots Anderson and then shoots you, and it's game over. So the the outcome's still the same. We just didn't weren't able to get the visual of convincing him. You could see it like I do. It's so perfect. This is it, everyone. The Oh. Oh, it's a little bit smaller. But not much. Ten seconds to contact. That's it. The crucible is docked. Commander? We did it. Yes, we did. It's uh, quite a view. <laughs> Best seats in the house. Feels like years since I just sat down. I think you earned a rest. Anderson? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay with me. We're almost through this. You did good, son. You did good. I'm proud of you. Thank you, sir. Anderson? Shepard? Commander? I... I... What do you want me to do? Trigger to a gun. It's gotta be something on your end. Commander Shepard. I don't see. I'm not sure how to.
wake up. What? Where am I? The Citadel. It's my home. Who are you? I am the Catalyst. I thought the Citadel was the Catalyst. No, the Citadel is part of me. I need to stop the Reavers. Do you know how I can do that? Perhaps. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. What? Solution. Uh, this, this is the like the to race what? from back then. Hmm? This is like the race from Chaos. back then talking. I think. Oh, the created will always rebel against their creators. But we, we found a way to stop that from happening. A way to restore order. By wiping out organic life? No. We harvest advanced civilizations, leaving the younger ones alone. Just as we left your people alive the last time we were here. But you killed the rest. We helped them ascend, so they can make way for new life, storing the old life in Reaper form. I think we'd rather keep our own form. No, you can't. Without us to stop it, synthetics would destroy all organics. We've created the cycle so that never happens. That's the solution. Wow. Mm. Synthetics will destroy all organics. Mm -hmm. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Is It seems like every, every cycle... Hum humanoid things, right? The sorry, or whatever, you know, Javik Protheans. It seems like we create life that tries to kill us. <laughs> it rises against us like the Geth. Mm -hmm. So the Leviathan's race saw this, right? And created, created the Reapers. Which is a synthetic, which destroyed themselves. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, that is yeah. hilarious. So this is what I meant earlier. Like, I think... That's why I don't think, like, even though it's taking, it's taking, the, it'll say it, it's taking the form of a child to, because that's, to help you associate with something, but, um, that's why I don't think any of the Reapers are artificial intelligence. I, that's why I mean, I think that, that's a VI. They are me. Yeah, yeah. He's a VI, and he, this is his prime objective, mm -hmm. is to constantly do this because you guys keep killing yourself, or you keep creating life that kills you. Okay. You said you're the catalyst. What are you? A construct, an intelligence designed eons ago to solve a problem. I was created to bring balance, to be the catalyst for peace between organics and synthetics. <sighs> so you're just an AI? In as much as you are just an animal, an AI, I, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. Huh. Collective intelligence. You were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. Leviath, that was yes. not an option. <gasps> Sweet, that's new to me. Creators. They told me what you did to them. We did as we were expecting. They said you betrayed them. That you turned them into harbinger. When they asked that I solve the problem of conflict, they failed to understand they were part of the problem themselves. The flaws of their organic reasoning could not perceive this. They lacked the foresight to understand their destruction was part of the very solution they required. Well, they've joined this war now. And I welcome their involvement. I am only facilitating their request. Mm -hmm. That was new to me. Cool. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, give me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. 
Leviathan. Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before. But how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this. So yeah, ED definitely isn't safe. <laughs> How is this not conflict? We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict? Or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new Reaper. Yeah, we got problems with like that Like a though. cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. So, and this is also why I like, I don't think he, that whatever he is, like, knows what it is to be an individual and, and be alive. Like, there's an end to us, and that's very deep. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, it's kind of weird, though, how they can harvest us, and, like, the knowledge we've gained, mm -hmm. they can incorporate. That's mm -hmm. that's an interesting thought. Like, how does how does their little blender go? Like, oh, they've learned this, this, and this. Okay, now we can take that information. Mm. What do you know about the crucible? Kind of like how it, memories can, can be stored in DNA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little more than a power source. However, in combination with the Citadel and the relays, it is capable of releasing tremendous amounts of energy throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than the <laughs> Clearly, the <laughs> one... Clearly, we don't like being harvested. But you're taking away our future. Without a future, we have no hope. Without hope, we might as well be machines. Programmed to do what we're told. That is real. You have hope. More than you think. The fact that you were standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. How about you just leave us alone? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Others will be destroyed as well. The Crucible will not discriminate. All synthetics will be targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What's that? I want to tell. Your Crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. Technology you rely on will be affected. Shepard's voice is in the child. Mm -hmm. I can hear it. Yeah. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. But the Reapers will be destroyed? Yes, but the peace won't last. 
Says you. Your children will create synthetics, and then the chaos will come back. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. <clears throat> so, the elusive man was right after all. Wow. Yes, but he could never have taken control, because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. But the Reapers will obey me? Yes. We will be yours to control and direct as you see fit. So I think he kind of exists in thought. There is another solution. Well, it's like become a part of the Reapers. Yeah. So I think he would legitimately be able to look. Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. So yeah, going back to the control one, I think it means like, you know the classic movie movie moment when s somebody's form gets turned into something else, and like say Liara, some loved one is sitting there, and like, imagine like a baby reaper comes up, mm -hmm. and like reaches out and touches Liara, and then just walks away, mm -hmm. and then you'd go, that Shepard. Like, that's what that I think that means. Because it's still kind of vague, because he's like, hold on. Will he still be aware? Like, will he literally be in the Reapers and go, pull back? Yeah. Or will they pull back because that's what his mind wanted? Mm -hmm. I like to imagine positive to where, like, just imagine, like, some kind of baby synthetic comes up to Liara, and she has her, like, you know, yeah. mental thing, and then sees it walks away and goes like, oh, Shepard's with us still. Wow. That'd be fucking, <laughs> fucking insane. Yep. Explain how my energy can be added to the crucible. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what exactly? The energy of the crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past but it has always failed human reaper why because the organics were not ready it is not something that can be forced mm. you are ready not and you may choose it i don't know why not synthetics are already part of you can you imagine your life without them and there will be peace the cycle will end. The Reapers will cease their harvest, and the civilizations preserved in their forms will be connected to all of us. Synthesis is the final evolution of all life. The paths are open, but you have to choose. There's one more path. There's one more hidden path. That in curiosity, and I never knew this when playing this game, I found it. Just take a while, I guess. What do you think? What do you think? One, two, three. What do you think the fourth one is? You stand there. Close. Oh, uh, what? You kill the child? Turn, yeah, fire at him, turn back, and you just continue war. Like, there's no, I don't think the story tells you who wins or loses. You just continue, he basically, I'm going to find another way. Oh. Yeah, but it, there is a fourth option. So, that's why there's a gun still in my hand. Now... I will be honest, the very first time I ever played this game, mm -hmm. and I regret my indecision. 
Not because of story reasons, because I felt... I was like, damn, I chose Synthesis. Mm -hmm. So, if we choose Renegade, I'm curious as to what you see, because I know what I'm going to choose. I'm just curious as to what you would choose in this situation. If you choose Renegade, he said all... Let me pause it, just for safety. It says all synthetics will die. Mm -hmm. Geth and Edie. Okay. Yeah. They, they, will, all, like... they will be gone. But if I choose Synthesis, I'll be dead. Mm -hmm. Like, straight up. Shepard just won't exist anymore. If I choose to control them, my physical form will be dead. So, but even though I'll control the Reapers. But the point is, Shepard is still no longer in the picture. If you choose the Renegade option, you don't know what happens to Shepard. So what I'm kind of going based off of... I wonder if... Shepard. Could you create if your own body again? Because I don't, I don't know. That is a good question. Well, not with the synthetic choice. Like because with, like create your own body. Oh, like yeah, e. never mind. Yeah, see, well, because you, you, again, this is where I don't. Yeah, I think I think this. We'll call it the soul of Shepard. What makes Shepard Shepard mm -hmm. will be dead. Like there's no. In the controlling him again, I th well see yeah see, it's so it's such a I don't they don't know. they don't account for soul in this game we're yes. just going to assume that souls don't exist yes so universe. basically if I choose controller synthesis I'm dead Shepard the character does not exist in potential future Mass Effect games mm -hmm. if they continue this with Renegade in the war I don't know mm. so out of curiosity now here's something to take note what color is that blue what color is that. So I also chose. Oh, you know what? My bad. I did not choose synthesis. I chose. Um, I chose control. Mm -hmm. Blue red. Why do you think I chose control? Because red. Oh, sorry. Uh, that's sorry. Control is blue. Destroy is red. So why do you think I chose control? Because it's blue. Because it was blue. I thought it was the paragon choice. They frame it up as if destroying them is a is a bad thing. It's just Anderson's thing. Mm -hmm. But you notice they put red there to make you think, oh, I want a Paragon playthrough. I should have probably gone for... But mm -hmm. that's not true. That's the... I actually commend the game creators because they tricked you. That is not a Renegade option. Mm -hmm. It's what they make it seem to be. So that's why I was mad. And yeah. I was like, I, I wish I wouldn't... I wish... So here's the ultimate question. Mm -hmm. What if we... Since we found out about the Reapers, mm -hmm. what has been our ultimate goal? To destroy them. Yeah, so I know what I'm going to choose. Mm -hmm. What would you choose in these four situations? Synthesis. Synthesis? Okay, so walking down the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shadow. So, I'm going to do the thing that we set out to do <laughs> since we first found out about these Reapers. Yeah. That's a long walk, too. Mm -hmm. I know. They make you think, oh, maybe I should go over there. So, yeah. I, I chose Paragon the first time I did, and then I chose Synthesis. Synthesis has a cool ending, because technically it means Joker and Edie get to fully get together, because yeah. they're both the same. But I'm going to do what should be done, which is fucking destroy these things. You know what? If we create more synthetics in the future, we'll we'll deal with that when the time comes. <laughs> this is our Mass Effect ending right here. <laughs> Official Mass Effect ending. That look at his face. Yup. Oh, Anderson. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, dude. I think I have, there's also a, it's DLC content, it's not story, it's, or sorry, it's not playable, it's just when people didn't like the ending, they at least released like some stills with voiceover kind of giving a little bit more, hey, we're sorry, you didn't like that ending. Because <laughs> it was, you just don't know what happens. Like, it's just like, what, what the, what the fuck, like, did, okay, we had, be quiet for this sad moment.
And I will say, again, the reason we were playing on Insanity is for a specific ending. No, it's just a specific ending you get with the destroy choice and why I believe it's actually the canonical choice. Mm -hmm. So yeah, sorry. Sorry, Geth, Geth and Edie. But, well, I mean, I said Edie herself will, yeah, but. So and that's what I mean, either you're not going to exist or somebody else is not going to exist. See, I'd watch a movie, a CG movie like that. believe it destroys the mass relays though like they still exist so we still have like all of our technology but it's going to oh never mind Oh my gosh, did he freaking do it? So if you choose the synthetic ending, where you combine them, Joker would get out with Edie, but since we did not, Joker gets out with your love interest. And he'd have like synthetic glowing eyes and stuff, it actually, I mean it looks pretty fucking dope. I should have saved right before just so we could have caught all the endings. So unfortunately, Edie does not survive. I know, that's what I was hoping. Maybe he just outran it. That's what I was saying, That'd because be you that see the been nose a, of the shit. Yeah, that'd have been a simple, simple like, hey, at least Edie survived. 
But yeah, so Edie would be there and they would be, they hold hands, but your love interest is always there. I like how Gary's ball people steps out as well. I know, yeah. The two people I'd be traveling with. Yep. <laughs> and from the original. Okay, yeah, let me... I'm curious as the, if the... I mean, we're going to sit through the credits, because... <laughs> I think this is... I think Hackett has a voiceover. The war is over. This is what I the think they released. Defeated. In response to fans not Against making all anything. Odds. And in the face of the greatest threat this galaxy has ever known, we survived. We can fix that. We suffered many losses. The relays are severely damaged. But we won. This yep. victory belongs to each of us. Every man, woman, and child. Every civilization. On every world. Oh, so now, all of our crews are right. our steps toward restoring yeah. what we Every lost. single one of our crew must members remember what it took to win. Okay, we'll piss me off. So, like, this is why I did a fucking slideshow. I know. Three games. How many fucking hours was that? <laughs> yeah. Victory by a single fleet, a single army, or yeah, even they a single didn't. species. People, I think people, as humans, we like closure, right? If this like, war has taught us anything. This is pretty is good, that though. We're right right. Yeah. When we work together. At least they listened to their fans. They were like, oh, they didn't like that? No. Let me know what enough happened. Stop something as powerful as the Reapers. Imagine what we can achieve now that they are defeated. It will take time. But we can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Our homes, our worlds, our fleets and defenses, all of this, and more. <laughs> I want to start the coalition for AI. <laughs> for AI regulations. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get on this shit before, uh, if sci-fi has taught us anything. For ...by the sacrifices of those who fought and died alongside us. <sighs> A future that many will never see. Adam David Anderson, Third Admiral. There's Caden, yeah, Edie up there in the top left. <sighs> I do like that they put her in Legion. And unfortunately, she is holding also something. We still have many challenges ahead of us. We can face them together. <sighs> and we will honor those who died to give us that future. Just please be pregnant. Right, dude. Be pregnant, please. She's like, your dad was phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> he knows who your dad. Was. You know who your father. He united a galaxy and saved it. <laughs> that man has every right to decide for everybody. Because you know, Shepard's like, I don't think I should kind of do this for everybody. It's like, yes, you have the right. It's like you stopped the cycle that's been going on for eons. Oh, also, um, they should probably take that, that down. Here's why you choose the red option. Because I like to be a, an optimist uh -huh. guy. Yeah, there's Shepard. <laughs> no!
My boy's still alive! Oh. Woo! That nigga is still alive! Oh, oh my oh. dad's not asleep. Bitch. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> that! That is why you choose the Renegade. That's the ending I thought we'd get for playing on Insanity. Turns uh -huh. out, no, it's just the the destroy option. So, that's why, yeah, we are that's why, <laughs> that's, that's y'all better take that shit down real. Did y'all not search for his body? That motherfucker is. Come in, just like shirt off in the N7 chain, just come in front of you. <laughs> See me? That's why I kind of hinted at it. I said, if you do the synthetic, your shepherd is gone. If you do the uh, control, shepherd is gone. If you walk and do war, but no, <laughs> you can destroy them, and shepherd still takes a breath. Mm -hmm. So as far as I'm concerned, even if they hadn't released those little stills mm -hmm. of the game, I'm okay with that ending. Yeah. The fact that I know. I just want to know what happens to Shepard. Yeah. And you know what happens to him if you choose the other two endings. Oh, your main character died? Okay, cool. Like, I know not everybody gets a happy ending, but no. That's a happy ending right there. That is. So, Liara, you better take that shit down real fast, because oh, he's man. on his way. I will retire after that. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to... Chef Woody, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grunt is Steve Bloom. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, dude! Yes. Shepard took one. She was like, he was like, I was like, oh my gosh, dude! That boy's still. Alive. Holy crap! You know what's the most beautiful thing? That I was while like while we're going through this, I was reminding myself. I was like, Marcus, just enjoy the experience. Uh -huh. And here's the the trippiest thing that a video game can grant you, like. The ex <laughs> I don't even know how to put it, but like, can, I, I want to say grant you the experience, mm -hmm. but like, <laughs> books are fun. Books are freaking phenomenal. But man, yo, this man. was a freaking journey, oh, and it's like, I wanna play. Oh, like the entire time, every time we play Mass Effect, I was in another world. Whether I, mm -hmm. <laughs> like, yeah, you, like you're freaking, we're not here in this position. We're gone mm -hmm. to another freaking galaxy. I'm completely okay with this. And I, that's why I do like any good book, mm -hmm. any good song, any good movie, any good television series. You're literally transported to wherever that setting is. Yep, yep. And that's why I love this freaking stuff. It's cool to like read a script or read a story, and your brain does visualize the environments, uh -huh. the this, the this. But sometimes uh -huh. I just like I like I like visually not letting my mind come up with what I think it is, mm -hmm. what somebody's vision was mm -hmm. for that because. It depends on how descriptive a book is. Like, I'm the type of writer, I'm also kind of a lazy writer in terms of, yeah, I don't be, a, I'm not as descriptive because honestly, some of my environments or characters, I don't even know what I want them to look like. Mm -hmm. I know they might have a few key features. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, this character has this voice and has these cat eyes and their skin is this. But like, other than that, they could have a head like this, a head like that. You know, I kind of leave that up to like people who might read my stuff. Mm -hmm. But I do like seeing like, no, this is what, it's exactly what it should look like. We don't get right. to interpret what this world looks like. This is what it looks like. <laughs> they set the laws of this universe. Mm -hmm. It's freaking beautiful, man, dude. So I like to think that, hey, if they showed him, don't show him take his last breath, is that's not the Bioware hinting at Shepard lived. Yeah. That's freaking dope. dope. Yeah. No, he lived. He lived. Yeah. There, 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 he that lived. motherfucker took a breath. That He is a soldier. I'm a soldier. <laughs> I like you see the N7 necklace. I know. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> so that, that was like, that was the moment I was just waiting to see again. Wow, dude. And that's why I like, so with that, I mean, we destroyed. So if they were to create a, I'm, I'm, I'm sure canonically of a couple things. Liara is always who you're meant to be with because she's always been a choice in every game except two, but story reasons she was busy. Mm -hmm. But you still get her as the Shadow Broker DLC, right? Mm -hmm. She's the one that found your dead body and gave it to Cerberus. Mm -hmm. 
she's also the only uh, from the get go at least you could have been a male or female character and mm-hmm. still went with her so to me that just speaks more to like this yeah you could be with tell you be but like canonically male or female shepherd you could choose Liara from the mm-hmm. get go you couldn't be male and choose Caden or female and choose Ashley but you could both Liara right. and then the second one like I said she found your body you shadow broker she's been with you through all this I think canonically Shepard the character Garrus has been there the entire time true but he, you couldn't even be a relationship with him in the first one you could only be with a human or the only alien yeah that's what I mean that's I why I think they're they're very li- like yeah oh that afterwards I think people were like maybe we should let people just be I wonder if they're like they're like is that too risque I wonder if that's what mm, they thought yeah yeah cause and it you was the this- first game like I was yeah Mass Effect, like the Mass Effect will, the choice will, they like, they set freaking, like, they, mm-hmm. when Mass Effect 1 came out, it really kind of made people th- rethink of RPGs, especially, mm-hmm. it was a Western RPG. Yeah. JRPGs have been doing kind of stuff like that, really, relationships. How many Western RPGs have mm-hmm. done anything like this? And yep. then, especially going with space and reimagining stuff like that and mm-hmm. you know Mass Effect 1 when it came out was freaking groundbreaking yep. but that that and is and I still thing. like going back and playing it even though the Mako driving around is kind of tedious mm-hmm. it's still fun the story is good yeah like, the story is great combat's decent I mean uh-huh. it's not I like putting poison on my uh, oh, yeah. sniper rifle uh-huh. yeah or that poison. What was it? Cryo Ralph. Cryo Ralph. Uh, corrosive. Yeah. Corrosive. Oh, that one was a fact. Yeah, they didn't. They took that out in this one. They had a whole bunch of different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like. So, yeah, it, it's kind of interesting, though. Like, what could a sequel to Mass Effect be? Because mm-hmm. that means the creators would have to choose a canonical ending. Mm-hmm. Or if they want to put you back in. See, I don't like prequels. I don't want a prequel to this. Nah. Because I know how it ends. Kind of, with the choices and stuff like that. You know what I mean? It's like, what if you were... Oh. This is kind of cool. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. They have. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. Tell me another story about the shepherd. Congratulations. Break you into the group of threat. Gerudo Shepard has become a legend. And from here, you can continue to build that legend. It has been a long journey for Shepard, for the team here at Bioware. And like Shepard, we could have done it alone. The Mass Effect trilogy began at the vision of a small team, but over the years, it has grown. That growth has fueled and shaped that. Fueled and shaped by the feedback and support of our player community. Thank you for joining us on this journey, and we look forward to sharing further adventures. Oh my gosh, dude. Mm-hmm. Mass Effect 2. Thank so, you for I, Stop making it. I know, Just right? Mass Effect. I like that because it, it's like, as it, I, it almost sounds like, tell me another story. So, sequel? Like, yeah. oh, Shepard survived? Kind of thing, yeah. but it also could be read as what, do you, what side missions did you not complete? Mm hmm. Tell me the story yeah. of, the, of the shepherd. Yeah. Oh, Omega. yeah. Ome- oh, it's like, oh, my bad. I forgot about Omega. Yeah. <laughs> kind of thing. And yeah, and then it just, it puts you right before. I can't see them. <laughs> there. It puts you, yeah, right before the elusive man's base. So now you can do any side missions and, and stuff. Um, but if you do new game or uh, to do new game plus is t- this save now registers as you having. So I think when I save. 
that save will register as New Game Plus. Hmm. So you can say, load, I forget, actually, how does it, how does it do it? Man, dude, so many freaking emotions just from that. Like. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. I'm just curious. I forget how. <laughs> Try to kick through your luck. I know, yeah. I think, no, not load. New game. Import Mass Effect 3 character. So if you do that, that's the one we just beat. Yep. So, but I did actually, I did that in like my spare time uh -huh. for, yeah, 616. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think this one. I think that is, yeah, that's the new game plus that I did myself. Because, see, I, what I was going to try to do was beat the game up to see if I could get that third choice and convince right. convince him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is Mass Effect 3. Visit everybody who's indoctrinated to shoot themselves. <laughs> oh, man. Um, well, shit, technically, I'll never touch this 360 game again. Until I play it just for fun on PC. I am still going to visit the Mass Effect universe again. But I gotta play it on PC. Yeah. I need smooth frame rates in gameplay. Dude, holy crap, dude. Talk about a journey. Mm-hmm. You know what? For all the ish that this game has gotten, I'm happy I waited this long to play it. Yeah. And that's pretty... It, this is pretty cool, too. So, uh, for anybody who does watch this in the future, I mean, Mass Effect is what started this Let's Play channel. Mm -hmm. Was... He came to me... Man, I don't even remember how the conversation went, but I just remember... I think we were talking I, about... We were talking about Mass Effect. I was like, wait, that person lived? And we were talking yeah. about Mass Effect 2, because I remember starting Mass Effect 2. And, yep. Yeah, and you just got the worst ending possible. And I was like... And it was it was a result of you choosing Paragon and Renegade options. Yeah. So the game kind of rewards you for dedicating to Paragon or dedicating to Rex Renegade. Rex died. I should... Oh Ash, yeah, like Even for Mon Chris. Yeah. Remember? Ashley shot Rex. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that happened to Chris. Y'all none of y'all saved him. I was like, Rex what Rex is I was like, he, perfectly. He lives. Fine. I was like I was like, Rex, chill out. Yeah. Chill out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I just yeah. remember that a little bit. Like, yeah. Chill out. Chill yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like, nah, yeah. okay, let's keep moving. Uh huh. <laughs> So yeah, we started this Mass Fit Let's Play. I was like, well, well, let's get we're getting into Let's Plays. Let's go ahead and play Mass Effect to get you the proper ending. Holy so crap. technically, we finally did. Uh, we got him the proper ending for one, the proper ending for two. Now, even though I didn't get that third option for the elusive man, mm -hmm. that would have played out the same way. You just convince him to do it himself, and he goes, F I fucked up. Mm. And shoots himself in the head. Um, but that, the the story I tried to paint for you for Mass Effect is what I believe to be the true canonical <laughs> canonical playthrough paragon of like this how it's supposed to be Mass Effect yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and and technically after this recording of this anyways holy crap you know, if we do anything, we're moving on to live streams. What's going to beat that? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I want to play Mass Effect Andromeda as well. That'll be yeah. fun. But, um, I mean, in terms of our Let's Plays, this is kind of the last, like, official us getting together. This is the first and last. Mm -hmm, yeah, That's I mean, I'm moving insane. to California at the end of this year. Whenever yeah. this releases, this is... What day is this? This is... Uh, October 16th. 16th yeah. He's got to get up in like five hours. Beautiful. Um, October 16th of 2019. So I'll be moving to Cali at the end of the year. We started getting into live streaming and stuff like that. So we'll still be playing together, but like the last of, hey, you have to come over so we can set up these recordings. Holy crap, it. dude. Man. Holy crap. Just... Adventure. It's like part of me is like sad, but I know. Then it's like sad and excited. Yeah. Try not to be sentimental, hold on to old shit. I know. But man, dude. Good stuff. Okay. Look for it. <sighs> Fucking growing up and shit. Looking for it. Damn, dude. I'm getting sentimental. This is, this would be great. Dude, but it's so good. Looking forward to new things. I don't know what the freak that's gonna be though. Mm-hmm. I Man, <laughs> I just... 
<laughs> that's a I don't want to end it there, but I was thinking <laughs> potty break. <laughs> <laughs> Oh um, my gosh, dude. Yeah, in terms of of I I do I hope something is continued with Mass Effect so like when things start <laughs> yeah, to take they come back we're Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, like I, I hope we're successful in having followers and we have our own yeah. things going on but Oh, that's for definitely going to happen. The day we get like together, it's like Mass Effect blah 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 yeah. announced and it's like Marcus, <laughs> it's time. It's time. <laughs> you do like a like kind of a chasing. Just yes. Yeah. No. We we would yeah. be us getting like get the group into this, uh, set it in action. Boom. Mm. We're back. Awesome backdrop. Yeah. So, I'll start new channels just for that. We start <laughs> no. a website. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Go. So yeah. With that, we'll give you the last body break. Body break. <laughs> That's gonna be his channel. <laughs> <laughs>